VLOOKUP is one of the most important skills which you have in Excel. When I do work with industry, it's one of the functions I use all the time and it's definitely one of the most employable skills you can have with Excel. So you should really master this. And once you start using it, you'll use it all the time. Now this is a really simple example I've made and this is for a company that uh, has customers and they make purchases. So, We've only got 14 records here, but you can imagine for a large company, you would have thousands and thousands of rows of data. Now, in this example, we've got this data here, which is in that order, and we've got the examples which we want. So, we've got here 1940, which is that one, 1944, which is that, 1949, which is that. So, it'd be really easy for the boss to come along and say, okay, give me these three accounts worth of data, and then write how much they've done. But if this database or this spreadsheet was thousands of rows long, it would take you quite a while. And if you're doing this all the time, it really is far too much hassle. So here's how to find the values you're looking for in the lookup. So first off, we type into the cell there, equals the lookup open brackets. So the first thing we want to do is the value we're looking for, which in this case is 1940. We just click on the cell, which is D3. Press comma. And the next part is the table array. What that is, is where does the table happen? Which is just here. We can go from A2 right down to B14. Now, importantly, the value you're looking up has to be in the most left column of the table. So the value is the customer number, and it is in the most left column. If your column you're looking for is somewhere in the middle, make sure that you either move it to the beginning, or you find the table array starting on that column, and the value you're looking for is somewhere to the right of it, so you can slap around there. If you have the column looking forward to the right of the data, it won't work, so it must always be to the left. So we've described a table and that's fine. Column index is the column where the value is going to be found, which is column two. So we write column two. It could be that you've selected a very large table array and you've got column 30, but in this case, it's nice and simple. Press comma. And the last um, value we're looking for is range lookup, which is, do you want it to be exact? We do want it to be exact, so we type zero. If you don't have that, say just leave it as one, then you'll find the nearest value, which is not always right. So just leave it as zero, and that's what you'll use 98% of the time. So we're almost done, but not quite. Because if we take this formula and copy it down on our column here, then the lookup value, which is D3, will change to D4 and then D5. This is exactly what we want. So that as we go down our column, it'll update. However, the table array will also be moving down the spreadsheet. So the table at the moment is A2 to B14. In the next row we copy it to, it'll go, oh, you mean A3 to B15. We're after that. A4 to B16, and it just starts moving down. The chances of the data you're looking for appearing in the top um, of the table above your table array increases, and your VLOOKUP stops working. This is a really common mistake, and it's so easy to fix. All you have to do is click after the A for the two, and insert the dollar sign and do the same for B. The dollar sign fixes those numbers. So we can copy this down as many times as we like, and the table array will stay as A2 and B14, while the lookup value, which is D3, will increase with rows. So there we are, that's our formula. Click Control, Return. We'll see that 1940 had 5354323, which is correct. Just copy this down. We see that 44 is 34543, and 49, <coughs> sorry, is 35. And we can change this wherever we like. So let's say 19, cusp 1950, and there we are. So this is a really simple array, but it works fantastic, and it's one of the most functional tools. So give it a go, and I'm sure you'll have a lot of success with this formula.